in lesson two, we're going to learn how to use autofill to quickly copy information across multiple rows or columns. In the last lesson, we learned how to use copy and paste to copy a formula from one cell to the other cells in the row. We copied B6's formula into C6, D6, and E6. But we copied them one at a time. And again, if you have 30 or so different columns to copy that formula to, it's going to get tedious. There has to be an easier way to copy a formula across multiple columns. The easier way is called autofill. And let's see how autofill works. First, let's delete the information from cells C6 through E6. So select those three cells and then press delete on the keyboard. Now those cells are clear. I still have my formula here in cell B6. You're going to have to type it in at least once. So this will be considered our master cell, the one we're going to copy. Now I'm going to take my mouse and move it over the bottom right corner of the cell. Notice how there's a little black dot there. And as I move my mouse, notice how it changes from a white plus to a black plus. Here I go, ready? I'm moving my mouse right over that little dot, and there it is. See how my mouse pointer changed into a little black plus? That little black plus right there is now sitting over what's called the autofill handle. And you don't have to remember that name, but that is where you have to click in order to use the autofill feature. In fact, let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see it more clearly. All right, there we go. Notice again, as I take my mouse and I move it over that dot in the bottom right corner, my mouse pointer changes from a white plus to a black plus. Now, with the black plus selected, you're going to click and drag to the right. Now, when you release the mouse, look what happens. Their formula was automatically copied across all of those cells. Notice that my formula has been copied and automatically updated for each of these columns. That's the same as if I were to copy and paste and paste and paste. That's basically what autofill does. Let me show you that one more time. I'm going to click on undo. That'll get rid of the autofill. I'll take my mouse. I'll move it over the autofill handle, the little dot, so my mouse looks like a black plus. I'll then click and drag to the right three cells and let it go. And that is how you use autofill. That is the quick way to copy information across multiple columns, and it also works down if you want to copy across different rows. Let's put a total over here for each sales rep. In cell F1, I'll type in the word total and press enter. And now again, you'll have to type in the formula at least once. Let's start out with an equal sign. B2 plus C2 plus D2 plus E2. Notice I use the mouse to click on each cell instead of typing them in. Press enter. And there's my total for Chris in cell F2. Now I want to autofill that down the rest of the column. So I'll click on cell F2, move my mouse over the bottom right corner on the autofill handle. So my mouse changes from a white plus to a black plus right there. Click and drag it down those cells and then let it go. And there are all the totals. There's a total for Alex. Pat, Jan, and the total of all the other totals. There's your grand total. Now let me show you some mistakes that people make when they try to use autofill and they do something wrong. Again, let's delete this data here from C6 to F6. I'll just select it and then press delete on the keyboard. Okay, so I want to autofill this formula across the rest of the columns. So I click and drag, and then nothing happens. What did I just do? Well, I forgot to click on the autofill handle. If you just simply click inside of a cell, and your mouse pointer is still white, if you click and drag, you're simply selecting those cells. 
You have to make sure you click on the autofill handle when your mouse pointer changes to a black plus. Click and drag, and there's autofill. Again, I'll click undo. All right, here's mistake number two. I click on the cell, and then I move over here, but notice I don't quite have the autofill handle. My mouse is over the border of the cell, and I've got a little four-way pointing arrow there. And then I click and I drag, and that happens. Well, I just moved the cell over. So let me hit undo again, undo. And look, if you move your mouse over the border of a cell, you get that cursor. Anywhere but the autofill handle, it looks like that. It's a four-way pointing arrow. You can then click and drag, and that's the same as cut and paste to move something, to move a cell or a range of cells. All right, so again, make sure you have the autofill handle before you click and drag so you get that. And when you do complete your autofill, ignore this little box here that pops up. There are some additional options for autofill. And again, we'll cover these in our expert level classes. Now, there's a lot more that you can do with autofill besides just copying and pasting formulas. There's a lot of tricks. I'm going to show you a lot more of these in the expert classes, but watch this. Click here down in cell 8 or somewhere else on your sheet and type in January, J-A-N, and then press Enter. Now, click on that cell and then grab the autofill handle and slide it across. Look at that. Excel knows the abbreviations for the months. And you can type in the full month names if you'd like and do the same thing. Look at that. It also knows the days of the week. I'll abbreviate Monday. Grab the autofill handle, click and drag it across. Or you can type in the full Monday. Click and drag. See that? You can also use it with dates. For example, if I type in 12 slash 1, I get December 1st. I can then click and drag and get the next bunch of dates, December 2nd, 3rd, and so on. And again, we'll learn much more about this in addition to doing things with number series and lots of other cool autofill tricks in the expert classes. For now, I'm going to delete all of this information by simply selecting it all with the mouse and pressing delete on the keyboard.